So in this video, uh, I am going to tell you about uh, reversing the linked list using recursive method. So in the last video, we saw how to reverse a linked list iteratively. In this part, we will see how to do it recursively. So uh, the idea is that uh, you can split it into two parts, like. Uh, if we have a function reverse and it takes head node so ultimately this function will reverse all these nodes all these pointers next pointers and also update this head to point to here four. So uh, we can see this problem recursively like uh, I am calling this function on one. So one would in turn, uh, in turn call this function for its next nodes. So one is here and it sees this as another linked list. So this entire thing is a linked list and the parent call is on its first node so we can see it as one node and the remaining n minus one nodes so if, if this original list has n nodes we can separate out one and call this reverse function on its head so we can move so whatever head was given to original function we can move this head to its next so head is here and just call reverse on this function so this will internally return a correct list so it will have 4, 3 and 2 and we will assume that this function has worked correctly and and given me a correct result and moved the head here so this is our assumption so we have a function reverse and it will take head so what we said that uh, we can So we saved this pointer, this first node in this variable and call the same function on the further node. So we can update head to currents next. So we have moved head here and then call this function on this new head. So after this step, so after this step, we assume that if this function works correctly, the remaining n minus one nodes will be in this state. Four will be pointing to three, three will be pointing to two, two will be pointing to five, null, and head will be updated to point to this four node. So once we have this, this part sorted or this part reversed, what we need to do whatever was a current node current was storing current was storing this one and now head is pointing to two and then after this calling this reverse function on this sub list it will reverse correctly and after that we need to or, or we need to keep track of 2 whatever was 2 so I missed one thing here we also should keep next ok so this next was 2 and head was 2 
then we call this reverse function and it reversed everything and now what we need to do we need to set the next of 2 to 1 and next of 1 to null then we will be done because this function has done this much 4 3 2 and it's currently null head is here but we s we had saved 1 and 2 so we will make 2's next point to 1 so this link will be gone and 1's next point to 5 and this is our reverse list so we can write the remaining part so once it has reversed we will set next next was 2 its next will be current that is 1 and current's next will be null and we are done here so you can run and just close this code here <coughs> so let's see it working how it will work step by step so we have 1 2 3 4 and head is here and current is here and next is here so earlier this function f is called on this this thing and then we will have it will call function f on two three four five after updating the head so head is now pointing here so for this case it will store the current pointer here and next pointer 3 and it will again call the same function by moving head here so it will call on 3 4 and null and for this case head was here current was 3 and next was 4 and this again will call this same function on 4 and 5 after moving the head so current is here and next is here and you can take this as the base case so you can check that if it has just one node then return so this function will start returning from here so it will come back to its calling function so here 3 will be current so after this function returns we just set oh, uh, next next is equal to current so when this function returns here after updating this part so in the stack of this function call current was 3 next was 4 so next next is current and current's next is null so what this will do this will so this function return 4 Oh, it, it we can update so 
so here next it should be null it's okay so so this was the case so this function return this and here we will say 4 was the next here we had stored next as 4 so its next will be current so its next is current here current is 3 and then current's next is null so this there is only one pointer so this pointer earlier was null so it's gone so this is the list that this function call returns so this function call once it returned here it it has changed the state of the sub list 3 and 4 so here it will see next is 3 and current is 2 so once this function returns it will take this list as it is as returned by the previous stage and its next was null so now it will do next next equal to current so next was 3 3 is next will be current that is 2 and current's next will be null that is this so this is now the state of this sublist 2 3 4 and it returns here so in this stack next is 2 and current is 1 so next next should be current so 2's next will be current that is 1 so it will now be 1 and 1's next will be null so this is the ultimately the state of the list during the first call and which is the correct one because head is now moved to 4 which is pointing to 3 then 2 then 1 then null earlier it was 1 2 3 4 and null and head was here so this has correctly reversed the linked list so this is a recursive implementation let's write it in the code so in the last video we had written the iterative way let's write the recursive way so I can copy this base case if there is only one node then we don't need to do anything So we start by first node and separate out the next, the remaining. And we also need to move the head and call this function on the new head and after it has reversed that sub list we will update Okay, I forgot to change it here.
and this should work so it's just four or five lines of code but to understand it it needed so much explanation so let's see if it works so I will comment on this so we have commented out this reversing code so it printed the list twice and use the recursive definition here okay so this has correctly reversed the list 3 then 50 2 1 20 10 and null so uh, this is how we do a recursive implementation of reversing a linked list the code is much more simpler but it needs good understanding of how recursion works so keep practicing problems like this and uh, you would be on track for cracking any questions like these thanks for watching